Dr. Asakura and Dr. Kalyan. Hey, are Ganesh. you there with us? Yes, we are. Can so, you tell us the case? Okay, Rupali is going to present the case for you. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Now, she is a 54 female and with no risk factor postmenopausal, presented with class 2 angina for the past six months. And uh, her ECG echo was normal. And we did her angiogram. Can we have a diagnostic angiogram of this patient? So we have to look the floor up. Dr. Asakura, can you stop for a minute? We got to show them the case. Uh -huh. yes. Okay, okay. Thank yeah. you. So we did her angiogram. It showed normal left main with LED was big yeah, vessel with a big diagonal. Yeah, can let's have a look at that. We can't see the angiogram. Right. Okay. So let's see the angiogram, please. Can, we, um, can you see the angiogram, please? Could we run this picture, please? So who do we have there? Sudhir, Dr. Ganesh Kumar, who else is up there? Sudhir, myself, and uh, Dr. Ajay Mahajan from uh, Mumbai. Uh, Lovely. Okay. And uh, a good list and of we've panelists. Got, uh, so this was a basal angiogram. If you can see, there's a big diagonal which coming, and LED was having some mild disease at the uh, distal part. And LCX can be seen uh, filling retrogradely with very faint collaterals. Next few, please. Next. Guys, other pictures, please. Thank you. So this was the LAO view showing the same findings. Can we go back one view? Show the epicordal? Yeah, perfect. So you can see that LCX is just after proximal, giving small atrial branch and small OM, which is proximal total occluded. And the occlusion is about 30 to 40 millimeter. And the distal vessel is of good quality, of divide, dividing to two OM part. But the stump still, it's not very clear that from where the LED uh, LCX is occluded. So you want to comment on that, Dr. Asakura? Is there anything filling from the right coronary? Have you taken right coronary no. shots today? Yep. Uh, no, we didn't take anything today, but Next. we have already looked so we at have it. And there's not, not, no collateral from the right. Next. So they're all ipsy collaterals. This is the right that's shot. That's the right. Me. Yeah, OK, yes. It's huge dominant right, mm. but that's about it. Next. So just for the purposes of discussion, I mean, we have already gotten the case started, and uh, Dr. Sakura is kind of like, you know, he's gotten the case started. How would you guys approach it, Ganesh, to there? Like, I mean, can, can we films. see all the left side pictures once again? Sure, show us yeah, the left again, please. I think the AP caudal view is good. Can we see the AP caudal view and run it on the loop, please? Yes, this. Yep, uh, this Next. is a, yeah, Arab. that's RA caudal. No, 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 you, you run the whole, whole frame. Yeah. Can you show us a cranial picture too? Next. Show them a cranial picture. Next. One more next. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thoughts, comments. Next picture. Spider. Spider. Spider we took today actually. We took a spider today, right? Yeah. Okay. Here's the response. Mm. Well, it's got a very ambiguous looking cap uh, with a small uh, branch AP coming Poda. off there uh, from the circumflex. So obviously we have to invest a lot of time here in the anti-grade uh, approach and see if we can find out more about the cap by some kind of imaging to the side branch uh, the and try to do a puncture. And, uh, yeah, and then it, 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 there are some epicardial collaterals that will be a second strategy once. Uh, but we need some anti-grade work, uh, whether uh, it goes in the intima or sub-intimal and progress, and if it uh, carries anti-grade via escalation. If not, then maybe try to negotiate some of these epicardial collaterals from uh, a diagonal branch, but we need some more uh, selective shots there. That's sure. what I think. So you're, you're now looking at, uh, I think you're seeing live right now, right? So you're now looking at what's going on right now. Um, I, I, I think, Sudhir, you're right on the money. I mean, you know, you got to figure out that, I mean, we kind of looked at it. We so do you have thought a we know where IVAS? the proximal cap is. Yes, we do have IVAS. Yes. So can so we see the IVAS picture? We can't see the IVAS picture here. Uh, we will show it to you in a second. So the, the, the plan exactly was as you had discussed. Given the proximal cap ambiguity and the way we wanted to resolve it was by doing an IVAS guided puncture. The largest guide we have here is seven French. So 
you know, doing it simultaneously is kind of hard. So we used, so we have basically wired that little branch that you see, that high OM tiny thing. And uh, we'll show you the IVAS in a bit when they can get the transmission okay. through. So what IVAS catheter have you used? What cat IVAS catheter? That's is a Boston, Boston Scientific IVAS. Can you guys see the IVAS at all? No, we can just see the angio run. It looks like there's a. Yeah, they can't see the IVAS, guys. So if you show us yeah, the pullback from that branch into the proximal circumflex IVAS. Uh, we are working on it. So we IVAS. had the, the same problem yesterday because with seven French, uh, I was told by uh, Yamane Sensei that you can do Caravel and uh, Boston IVAS, but we were really struggling uh, with yeah, seven I mean, French both. Yeah. It's a tight fit, and given the short stuff, like what we really wanted to do was use, a, again, you know, many ways to skin the cat, but uh, in fact, both of us, like the thing that we wanted to do was put in a dual lumen catheter once you have a wire, identify where the proximal cap is, and then do a puncture. It's a lot easier, and I think it, you get more penetrative force. So that was the plan. Seven French, that's not going to be feasible. Can we see the IVAS now? Okay, good. Hey, was it the first one or the second run? Is it it's the second speckle? run. Okay, show us the second the run. Second yeah. run. Show the second run, because the first was kind of. You guys see the IVAS? Kind yeah. of, yeah. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, we can see it. All right, good. There was second one before second. I think in this IVAS, it looks like you've already crossed the CTO or entered the CTO. No. 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 I we wish, but no. But there's a wire on the side? Yeah, that's a wire on the LAD. Se Okay, seven. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're, we're showing you the second run. I think the first run didn't come out very well. So. Uh, guys, is that the? You don't. Have, okay. Uh, I have some bad news for you. The run where we actually saw the proximal cap apparently didn't get saved. So we can't show that to you. Um, but, anyways. Okay, carry on, guys. So, what is your plan, and what did you see? Uh, you know, we, it is kind of where we suspected it is between that, you know, atrial branch and that little mm -hmm. tiny OM there, it's right there is what, you know, so we put a dual lumen catheter and now, uh, Dr. Oscura is working on a UV3 wire to try and penetrate the proximal and catheter. Gaius, Gaius second. What and, uh, uh, so just, just curious from the panel, so there, Ganesh, what would be a wire of choice for, for penetrating? Well, for me, that's uh, why the IVAS is important. Depends on yeah, whether mean, you see IVAS. soft plaque or calcium. Okay, it's but not too I much. think something not like too much calcium. Okay, something like uh, I think uh, Gaia two will be okay. Gaia and two UB three yeah, inter so intermediate stiffness. Perfect. Wire. So UB three was the first one. Didn't work. It kept sliding off into the side branch or into the same branch where the Sian blue is. So now Dr. Sakura has taken a Gaia second to try and penetrate the proximal cap. I personally, I mean, I'm, I'm a guy, a third guy, I don't go much second, but like whatever, just some, some kind of a penetrative torqueable wire. And I think it's a, a good, a good uh, just a comment on here that in this situation to use a double human catheter will give you more backup force to exactly. go into that. And, and that has been shown, so. So I think it's a good idea, and then it keeps the thing secured as well. Yeah, and the other thing is, like, you know, the proximal cap is so, I mean, you've got two branches that take off, and you don't have enough, you know, putting in one catheter is going to maybe potentially bias you towards one of the branches. Any comments from the hard. from other panelists? What wire will you choose? Ganesh? Dr. Garg? Uh, wire choice? Antigrid? I would like to ch uh, shift to a stiffer one, maybe. Or maybe? UB3. Yeah. Yeah, clearly, the, obviously, the thing is, there is no micro channel visible or anything. So, yeah, I mean, this, is, this is really. Take I another mean, one and then do it. And it's very difficult to say. Some people say you always go with fielder XT or some type of wire first, but in this no. situation, it looks like a flush occlusion. Yeah. And you don't have. So, I think some kind of really? stiff wire with. Good band intermediate with wire escalation leading to confidence that I bias will be not a bad idea. I, I agreed uh, on, you know, okay, so you everything. Arun, while you're working on this, I think for 10 minutes we'll just go to the other See lab. They made some right. progress, looks like, and we come back. All right, to bye. Okay. We are back, uh, Arun and uh, Dr. Uh, Asakura. Any progress? Yeah, we made some progress actually just in the last minute and a minute or so. so Please show me the picture. We'll just go back and. Uh, 
So the UB3 kept sliding off, and I think as someone Wait. had mentioned, we, uh, we got into the Gaia second, um, and uh, Dr. Asakura went in a little bit, but I think the, the wire just got kicked out. So, and uh, further attempts at the Gaia second essentially is just sliding into one of the branches. So just took a more penetrative wire, it's a Concourse Pro, and uh, he is just sailing in. So you penetrated See? with Concourse Pro, and uh, then you changed to which wire? No, we haven't changed it. The, you like, haven't changed it. The last yet. 30 seconds, he's just running with it, and he's, I don't know, maybe we are already there. I, uh, we gotta, do you wanna take a picture? Dr. Yes. Okay. Yes. So yeah, we have, now we, I mean, we had somewhere, hopefully in the vessel, and hopefully in the through lumen. Yeah, good. Looks like looks promising. Okay, promising it's a cert. Yeah. I would always check. I mean, in general, I mean, uh, he's very serious. We check an orthogonal view, and I think it's it's about safety. So you just want to make sure you're still somewhere in the vessel architecture, and that's what he's doing I right think now. He's in the US mm. uh, good. Maybe. I think, as we all know, that the left, uh, the the circumflex CTOs are the toughest CTOs, yeah, I mean, and they've got really like a, hard. it's I mean, like a know, moving area. He has got two branches that take off right there, um, so I mean, uh, and not enough room for the Ivis to so it was kind of like a. I think it was very good that he did that, and uh, he's gotten in more by feel, and now it's a Concourse Pro, so it goes where it goes. So you definitely want to confirm that you are in the architecture of the vessel before. Please. Now the other thing I find sometimes with this uh, dual lumen is that you wish you had a micro catheter here which you can advance a little bit and de-escalate, uh, which is... We, we actually talked about it exactly. Which is a bit there, tricky right? yeah. with the dual lumen at this point of time because sometimes you enter the cap, go to go downgrade your wire, de-escalate, maybe some less traumatic wire, maybe sometimes helps. But I, I you know, in fact, we just talked about it, like when he initially mm. penetrated with the guy. But you can do that question. if you want. You can always exchange it and put you a micro catheter into that. Absolutely. You want to be, uh, you know, once you are in, the, the purpose of the dual lumen catheter was to penetrate, Proximal get the wire, cap, yeah. in, exactly, get it enough into the architecture of the vessel, and then you want to switch to something else so that you can, because right now he can't de-escalate unless he switches the micro catheter. I mean. So your, your puncture point might still be uh, correct. Exactly. Yeah. yeah exactly. So actually, you need to pull yeah, back the wire and uh, change it over to a Gaia second or a third. But yeah, for that, you need your micro catheter. Absolutely, Ganesh. And I think that's what's happening right now. He's backing out the crusade. And uh, would you like some help? Are you guys good? Or do you have three people? Okay, good. So, so right now, we just got the crusade back. He's putting in the trap balloon. He's going to trap it, and uh, then he's going to take this out. And so uh, put in a micro catheter of his choice. I'm assuming it's some Corsair. I don't. Arun, know do you guys have eight is. French system or seven French? Uh, we seven. wish we had eight, man. There are no eights here. There's seven French, yeah. Yep. Both of us wanted eight, but yeah, uh, we took the largest French. that we have, mm -hmm. which is seven. And what my double lumen have you got? Crusade. Crusade. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, the wires. Okay. okay. I think so seven French is good for crusade yeah. exchanging with the oh. trap line. I think. So you must pull that. Caramel. Yeah, so he's, uh, what he's doing now, he's uh, taking the crusade out, trapping it with a balloon. There's a trap balloon at the guide cat tip. Yeah. Take the crusade out, and I think then they will, he will take a micro catheter, go into the proximal cap for a few yeah. millimeter, and then maybe change, uh, change the wire. a different wire. Yeah. Mm. I because totally agree with you. Is that what Dr. Asakura you're planning to do? Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. I think same things. Yeah. I'm just filling in for him because he's busy working, I'm just talking, so it's all good. So a uh, circumflex uh, nasty CTOs like this, uh, will a CT scan uh, prior CT and you would be of help? Especially when you, you don't know yes. the course of the vessel, course yes. Of the oh, vessel. No, 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 it's just going in, no? It's okay. Just well, in all series, all major series, the LCX CTO success rate is the lowest and with most complications, so. It's not an easy job doing a circumflex CT of this kind. So again, you know, I think stylistically, um, uh, you know, unless it goes really fast, wire escalation, I mean, my, you know, I, one of the approaches, and I think myself and a lot of the other operators might consider doing is pretty much on course to here, and then once you're penetrated, not even try to wire it, except you are where you are. Um, yeah, I think the mic, uh, you're there, right? You're there, yeah, you're there, good. 
um, and then just just do a primary ADR strategy. Um, but again, you know, different skill but sets, different operators. So no, would you worry about uh, because the distal cap or it's not at whatever a Actually, it's not at it's a bifurcation. It's not at there bifurcation. Was, no, there there is a landing zone. It's about I don't know ten okay. millimeters, but there is a landing zone. So, Arun, you do a lot of ADRs. Uh, what's your experience uh, in uh, circumflex uh, CTOs? Okay, uh, you be ADRs. Same. I mean, I, I, you know, circs are a little bit trickier, but again, you know, it's <coughs> as long as I have a landing zone, I'm, it's fine. I mean, I think it's not unreasonable. Um, it's, it's more to do with, like, usually calcium and hematoma, more wire manipulations. I mean, these, I think, generally set you up for failure more than just the vessel itself. I mean, obviously, an RCA is the easiest, followed by LAD, I think, followed by circ. Okay, so you Dr. are. Dr. Asakura, wire what wire are you, are you taking now? He's back U with the UB3. UB3? Uh, UB3. So, uh, any particular reason UB3 over Gaia in this case? Uh, he, I, in fact, we, we talked about it, and because I wanted to interrupt him to the least, you know, uh, possible in the least possible manner while working, he said that's his favorite wire. Okay. So, that's that's what we're going with. Uh, shape of the Gaia wire uh, is not round, so uh, Gaia wire has a relatively strong penetration force. Okay. But, but I mean, conceptually, the thing is, you want to de-escalate. Dr. Asakura, do you feel any resistance, or what do you feel your tactile understanding here at this point? No, uh, I'm not feeling a strong resistance. No. Uh, Ganesh, what would be yeah. your wire of choice? Okay, Elecronia. Irrespective yeah, of uh, whichever wire, when you're advancing it, if, if, if your wire, you get a grating on the wire, means you are not advancing well. So. And the key is like, you know, in this particular case, is that you want to confirm that you are. Mm. Same route. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like there is a bending there, uh, just under, there's some filling just yeah. under the wire at towards the end of the frame. Yeah, and I yeah. think that's what he's trying to do. He's trying yeah. to point it down. Yeah, it has to, to turn down, down at exactly. this point, uh, looking at the angio, but obviously it's, it's, uh, it's... That it's looks promising. Nicely so pointing so down. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that it looks, looks uh, good, promising, good. actually. Yeah. Yeah, coming close. Oh, no. Uh, it, is no. it is above the... Yeah, the wire is significantly above Outs the vessel. Yeah, above that uh, little island. And, and again, I mean, not for the uh, panelists or the operators, obviously, but for people that are getting started with, the one thing that you've noticed, Dr. Asakura, who's an quarter. expert operator, is take multiple views, confirm that you're not somewhere in, in a bad space. The second thing is that it's okay for the wire to go where it goes. If you've noticed, he has not moved the microcatheter so beyond you where you're comfortable. You want to be sure you know where the wire is before you move your microcatheter. So that's very, very important. I think the LED thing is dark. So would you like to change to Gaia at this stage? Uh, mm. Or you'll persist with UV3? Okay, see um, that's a Dr. Asakura yeah. question. Yeah. I feel uh, the wire one. right from the beginning uh, is in a different plane, the way it took the, the, the bend yeah, from there. Yeah, it's one of the tricky parts about certs and doing this. And uh, like I said, you know. Uh, the LED is on. Just check, yeah, somebody. Yeah. I agree, Arun. In this situation, obviously, we don't know the course of the artery with the stiffer wires. It's always a challenge. Yeah. So the knuckle wire will be the better thing here. But uh, obviously, you know, again, like I if said, you it's want it's to otherwise change to retrograde early, I know retrograde is not going to be easy. 
Yeah, I mean, again, those are the options. And again, you mm. know, the different operators have like different, different I think, skill sets and strengths. Mm. So, I mean, you know, I think you kind of have mm, to defer this? to the experience of the operator. No, that's just somebody uh, adjusting something, ECG. Well, I think uh, they should yeah. be aware of the radiation protection as well. I think uh, that's very important. Uh, that's a great point. Mm, yeah. So you guys on seven and a half frames here? Yes, we are on seven and a half frames. Imaging seven and a half frames. Point three gray thus far, 21 minutes of fluoro and uh, yeah. I think we all should be doing CTO using 7.5 frames. No one else should be doing. I mean, we should I think be doing most of the places already do that. Frames. Yeah. It's like if you're doing a CTO in 7.5, why can't you do it regular in 7.5? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, obviously there are exceptions, but for the most part, that should be a default setting. I think. Should we just go to the other okay. lab uh, and come and back? We'll come back to you. Sure, that would be great. Yeah, yeah, thank you. We are back with you, Arun oh, and uh, Dr. Asapura. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, we are now with the UV3. Uh, we are not in the architecture of the vessel, period. Mm -hmm. So we were just discussing about knuckle, no knuckle. Um, I think uh, Dr. Asakura now would like to consider a parallel wire technique, or I think actually he's going to wire redirect first and see if we can get it a little bit in a different plane. And uh, then I think his strategy would be to try and do it parallel wire. Um, any any comments from Dr. Werner? So do you think, Dr. Asakura, this wire is it still in the vessel architecture, or is it? OK, are you good at it? Yeah, it looks. Uh, right now it does look promising. I think they're out. Yeah, the other view will tell us. Yep. Ah, uh, no. Mm -hmm. yeah. nope. The way the wire like is bending tells us that right from the beginning it's not in the. Because the uh, parallel wire will be good technique, uh, but uh, how does this first wire help uh, in parallel wire if this wire is not in the vessel architecture? Okay, two five per So, what's your uh, thought process, Dr. Asakura? Now, um, I will check the entry with the CTO using IVAS again. Okay, yes. Oh, that's a very good point. Yes. Just to make sure we're not like, okay. Yeah, the point of entry, entry is most crucial. If the point of entry is wrong, we will not progress anyway. And, and traditionally, we say in the IBUS uh, entry point, the wire should be in the center of uh, the lumen rather than the valve. So that will be a good thing now. And I think, Ganesh, the point that you said was very, very valid. It's like, you know, it's mm -hmm. like trying to do parallel wire when you have no idea about the course is going to be super challenging, primarily because you got to deep throat it enough and you will probably be creating a bigger rent if you're outside the vessel. So. Um, I think, you know, from a safety standpoint, what we're doing right now is probably the most prudent thing to do. Okay, buzzing up. Do we have a Tarumo I was available in India? No. Uh, unless somebody brought it. No. So, yeah, I think I've heard in oh Japan no. they've got Tarumo I was, which is more friendly in this kind of situations with six, uh, seven French catheters. Seven French, I said. Arun, this time we want to see yeah. the IVAS. IVAS. Yeah, we would love for you to see the IVAS. Uh, last time, too, we wanted to show you the IVAS. It just wasn't captured, so I apologize. But the intent was not, not to show you. So, guys, make sure the IVAS is shown real time as we're doing it. Yeah? Thank you. So it's like you got a lot of heads, so it's good, good, good if everyone can see it and would love to get your take on stuff. So once, he, once he hits it, it'll probably come down. Okay, bone down.
router? It's in the wrong wire. Which wire are you on? I think you got it on the um, your uh, UV3 wire. I think he was on the CTO wire. So, uh, uh, yeah, that was not the plan. To So guys, what's a heparin? What's the ACT? Can we just do a house check? Lovely. Okay. Just housekeeping issues, making sure you, you're adequately anticoagulated. And I can see uh, you using the red pad as well. There's a red pad uh, yes. on the on the femoral, uh, which has shown to reduce the scatter. Yeah, we got a trap balloon, another wire, another wire, and seven French. So, three's across. So we can, uh, we still got trap balloon? Uh, we, yeah, if it does, yeah. We, we still have it. Hmm? It, it looks like again on the same wire. It is. I'm not sure. No. So, the iris catheter didn't go. Okay. Do you want to take out the trap balloon, Professor Kura? Would that help? I just want. <coughs> I don't know what is the challenge you're facing. Can you tell us? Uh, couldn't get in. No, so I think that wire is the earlier I was correct. I guess now we were on the wrong wire again, so going back to the first wire. Any comments from the audience? Dr. Hamazaki? <coughs> Any comment? Yes, seven French. French. So. Yeah. We just saw it. Hmm? You have to go in. You have to go in. Yeah, this way. Hmm? Now I'm using this way. Now it's no, this yeah, way. It's, I don't <coughs> know. Sure. Initially they Thank you. There, so. Anyway, we good? Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, yes, 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 this one. Okay. Mm. Yeah, yes, Dr. Hamazaki just commented that uh, after I was check, he, he said that with three wires and seven French, uh, and I was is a little bit tight fit. That's why there's a little struggle. And uh, I, I and he agrees that we do. A f I was check, and then uh, I was guided uh, wiring of the proximal cap. Once you enter the proximal cap in the center, might be a better chance. So we can you, you so can remove the LED wire at this point if the there's LED a tight wire. fit. It's, a it's going. Okay. Yep, it's out. And the good news is that we do have an eight French guide now available, but we're kind of knee deep into it, so. Do you have eight French? No, you do. Yeah, we got it. It's, I think you're, I think we are there, we are there. We can start the run okay. now. Right, yes. Right, because you're almost at the Can we see the, the IVAS, please? please? show us the IVAS yes. too. Audio visual people. Can you guys see the IVAS? No, we can't. Guys, yes, make you sure can see can now. You, can you enlarge okay, it a bit? Make the IVAS big, you can make our faces small. Thank you. 
So it looks like it's the proximal circumflex. Uh, it's not gone into the small branch. No, I, I, I know, again, this is something that I think the operator has to decide. Like sometimes, you know, it's just time to say, okay, we can get back into this. So maybe up just, just do up the thing, upsize to an eight French eight and then French. start afresh. I mean, you know, because otherwise you're going to have this uphill battle all through. So that's, um, I mean, but like, that's a choice that Arukha Sakura has to make. Um, so what's happening? You're not able to advance the IVS because I think this is the proximal circumflex, right? Uh, we just see the yeah, 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 yeah. Guys, do you see that? Okay. Yeah, we can see the wire. We can now see the the at around twelve o'clock. Uh -huh. Yeah, we can see a wire at twelve o'clock. And the only other wire that's there is. So is that the pr uh, proximal cap? Do we think, guys? It's not clear. I mean, we see a wire at twelve o'clock. But that might be just viral in the same lumen. Because it looks too big to yeah. be beyond that, uh, you know, the tiny branch. Uh, I was guess it uh, cannot be advanced. Okay, I think I agree with you. If you guys want to upgrade it to eight French system, you think uh, that will be better? Yeah, because it's just like, I mean, the, uh, I mean, personally, I, I would, but like, you know, it depends on what, you know, different people want to do, so. Yeah, Gerard has got comment. Not the blunt tip. Do you guys have volcano I was there? No. No. We don't have paper. The the oh, oh. Yeah, it's gone somewhere now. now. It's gone somewhere. It's in a small it's branch now. now for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I think his point of entry is good. <laughs> you guys saw that? Okay. Can you enlarge the IVAS for us? Guys, show the IVAS in full screen, please. Whoever, AV. Okay, pull back. You guys are now seeing live IVAS? We are yes, seeing we are. now, but yes. um, now we see the wire. Now we are way too proximal, I think, yeah. Okay, going back in, and now okay. I, I think they're coming back. Yeah. Guys, says, can someone just check on the patient, please, who speaks Hindi? There we see the wire. Yeah, we see the wire at 12 o'clock coming into. So, uh, can you describe us, uh, Arun? I don't think it's in the CTO body at all. Oh, you need okay, yeah, 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 that's fine. I'm sorry, you guys, like, what? It's, it's not in the CTO body. You don't know. I can't. Mm. It looks like it's in no, the no. goal. In the plaque, it's in the distal. Yeah. distal. Uh, it's a maximum distal. What do you think about this IVAS uh, images, Dr. Asakura? I'm not sure uh, where yeah. to go the theater. Do you think the... Mm. I mean, there's a significant difference in size, but I'm not, I mean, I, I wouldn't bet the farm on it. I, I, 
not sure I think is kind of the consensus. Anyone else on the panel yeah. that's seeing it? Audience, Dr. Werner, uh, Dr. Amazaki. Yeah, Gerard <laughs> has got. You want to buy the other branch and see if we can, for just for fun, see if that might give us a better it's view. I mean, poor. Okay, let's let's see it again. Okay. Yeah, this is. Yeah. 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 Eleven. Yeah. 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 But like, like the question is, is that you said where? Yes, Dr. Hamazaki. Yes. Cut the tape. Okay. To make it a short tip, yeah. But like, I think right now we have kind of crossed that problem. Mm. We've gone further in. So you know, that I think that's a great point. But it's we, he did manage to get it in. But that's something that you can't do is just cut it and make it a little short tip for the Boston one. But he got it in. Yeah. Arun, actually, I was still not very clear the image quality. So uh, we are not able to make out. We just see the wire, and uh, we are not able to identify the. And I think in seven French, uh, it might be difficult to do a live puncture of the proximal cap with the I was in, in, in that position. So, Like I said, at some point, we got to bite the bullet and say, are we going to yeah, live yeah. with this, or are we going to just pull it out upside and then go back? Well, how, how are the collaterals looking? Because Crappy. If, the, if the epicardial collaterals, uh, you must have taken some more shots, I uh, can tell from there. If they have got, uh, they're reasonable, then uh, it could That's be attempted. Option. That is an option. And uh, maybe, you know, just put in a microcatheter into the diag, which is where we think it comes off from, and do a selective injection, see if you can delineate anything at all. Okay. That certainly is a good option. Uh, to yeah. I guess that's kind of what we're going to do, right? That's also correct. Yeah, okay. Okay, good. We're switching strategies, guys. Yeah, so w what is your strategy now? We just tell us your strategy. We go to the other lab and come back to you. We're going to go. By the way, do, do you want so what are you going to do now? French? Do you want upside straight French? Shall mm -hmm. we? Mm -hmm. We have eight yeah. French. Do you want it? Yes, please. Okay. So actually, we're going to start afresh. We're going to upsize. That's what we're going to do. Dr. Asakura, Do yeah. what, is, uh, what are you planning to do now? <coughs> eight French? Yes, yes, eight French. And then? then uh, I take selective angiography Epic. for the retrograde collaterals. Yeah, we got but it because but right I think this patient has no uh, good uh, collateral for mm. the retrograde approach. Yes, it looks like. Yeah. Okay, you guys are doing great job. It's a, it's a very difficult CTO, but we're learning a lot from it. Uh, Dr. Uh, Rathor, I'm Dr. Goel here. Yes, 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 Dr. Goel. <laughs> I, am I was looking for you in the audience. I am somewhere. No, I am not in the audience. I am in between. I know. I am in between the lab and the audience. You are, I omni, just wanted, you are I omnipresent. Just, yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to make a few comments yeah, on this. If it's yes, comments. please. Actually, when we use seven French, uh, firstly, we Sorry. do have eight French catheters. Somehow they didn't reach, uh, and so that was one. Second thing is, when I use seven French and do Ivers guided puncture, I will just tell you how I do it. With the seven French, you can have a fine cross yeah. and an Ivers catheter together. No, but you we, cannot have a Corsair and Ivers catheter together, number one. And you cannot have a Crusade and I was together, uh, certainly not. Yeah. So if you use a fine cross ping pong guides, so and one I was catheter, I, like I keep the I was catheter on the on the side branch the and yeah. try yeah. to yeah. look yeah. Yeah. the live entry of the entry of the of the uprooted segment. And when we do it, we have there are two people. One person manages the wire. Other person sees the movement of the wire because when I rotate the second wire you will see that second wire jumping and with that jumping wire you'll be able to identify that we were mixing in this case which wire is it so you will know that by when you are manipulating the second wire this is the wire which is uh, the the wire which is playing and then you actively put it into the uh, the CTO's segment and you know only the mouth 
and after that, once you have entered into the mouth, then beyond right. that, right. you uh, go get right. the micro in and then oh, today, downgrade today. the wire yeah. and try to move forward and do whatever and you want. So seven French, eight French issue, uh, yes. that is what uh, I yeah. resolve it. And so we do it uh, in a, um, with seven French. But yes, uh, if you need eight French, uh, if you want to put uh, a Corsair or a dual lumen catheter, uh, which makes support and pushability better, I agree. In that case, we need eight French, and I think let, uh, they'll probably now do it electively. Eight French. Yeah, that's a, that's a <coughs> great, uh, excellent <coughs> comment and very yeah. educational. Yeah. We'll just switch on Thank to you. the other lab yeah. now and Thank come you. back to you. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Asakura, yes. Arun, yes. we are with you. We've only got five minutes left, so just give us your strategy now. Uh, two steps forward, huh? three steps back. So we, Next. we, uh, Point two. so yeah, so she didn't tolerate the eight French at all. Um, there are some left main disease and so she ended up like, uh, you know, having severe chest pain, hypotension, etc. So we had to go back to the seven French guide again. That's what we've Karabiru. done. She's okay now. Karabiru. They're going to put a Sian wire Karabiru down and the Sian. with a Caravel, do selective injection and see if we can, you know, figure out where this collateral from the diagonal, if it's a usable collateral by Dr. Asakura or not, Point and then kind of go from there. Okay, so let's stay with you for another minute or so, just All see right. what your uh, collateral injection looks like. All right. It's, it's off that first big diagonal. Thanks. Yeah, that's So since we won't have you for after five minutes, like, uh, I mean, pretty much you guys are on board, right? I mean, look for epicardials. Um, and then uh, kind of have to make a call about how to proceed further after that. Test, please. By W. Test, please. Test, please. Yep, you're in. AP Grunier. Yep, he's in. Do you have Medario? No, he's basically trying to study the Medallion collateral. Medallion syringe, Medallion. like the high pressure syringe, so He wants right? to go into so the diagonal and study the collateral no, with we a selective do. injection. You, the, the Ivis syringe, no. give me that. That You can use that. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah. you can yes, use yes. that. Okay. Yeah. So, so he's, uh, he's about it. Okay, just, so just, we will see the picture now. Uh, yeah, just for... Well, um, they're not... Uh, you can use the Ivis syringe, right? Okay. So give me that. Yeah, what we can see here from here is it doesn't look like great collateral, but we'll let you guys work. It's a very difficult uh, uh, CTO procedure, and we have learned a lot uh, because we are coming towards an end of transmissions. We'd like to congratulate you at uh, SGPGI, all the staff, uh, and uh, obviously we'll, we'll get back. Uh, we'll, we'll hear from you later on. Gentlemen, thanks Thank for your help. Thank and you. Comments. Thank you. We really appreciate it. Thanks.